As a family, we have faced a lot of challenges. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And unfortunately, during quarantine, Zoe, we found out she got cancer too. After her surgery, she kept asking me, mom, I'm going to die. And then I was like, oh, her spirit is broken. But weeks later, she was back to her old self. She's the toughest little girl, I know. The Leroy's have become closer than ever. Alex and Zoe's shared bedroom is beginning to limit their inspiration and their independence. So I would love to give these two special siblings each a room of their own. Wow. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, look at Zoe. This is George the Rescue. Ready? Set? Go. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Eva. And we're the Leroy family. We've been in this house for five years. We live here with our two children, Alex and Zoe. The Leroy household is pretty energetic with two little kids. Uh, there's always a ball flying around our heads or cartwheels hitting our heads. <laughs> it's a challenge. Thankfully, um, we had them young, so that helps. <laughs> yeah. Our son Alex is 10 years old. He loves soccer. Uh, that's his number one passion. We have Zoe, who is seven years old. She has a bubbly personality. She's outgoing, uh, stubborn, and um, hanging out with her friends. Did you say stubborn? Yeah. She's <laughs> so rude. As a family, we have faced a lot of challenges. Um, it started six years ago uh, when I was, I just turned 31. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had a wonderful doctor, geneticist, who recommended I get a whole genetic testing to find out uh, why I'm getting breast cancer at such a young age. And then we discovered that I had a genetic syndrome called Lifromeni syndrome. Uh, it's pretty rare, but it does make you prone to all variety of cancers. So then she said, because there is a 50-50 chance that our kids got it, um, she wanted to test the kids. And unfortunately, during quarantine, Zoe, uh, I have noticed a little lump in her cheek and immediately contacted her, her, her oncologist who was following her. And we found out she got cancer too. Uh, she got a cancer of skeletal muscle. It's tough because she was so young. With a six-year-old, um, it's, it's much more challenging to explain um, exactly what's wrong and all the different treatment that she's going to need. The hair was tough too. She knew as a little girl that she's going to have to go through chemo and surgery and worrying how she's going to look after surgery. So um, that's been challenging. Thankfully, right now, all the Leroy's are in good health, but Eva does still need to receive hormonal treatments, and every three months, Zoe has to go to doctors for scans. So while they have come a long way, these frequent exams definitely stir up a roller coaster of emotions. After her surgery, for a couple of days, she just was, um, she kept asking me, Mom, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, am I gonna die? And then I was like, oh, her spirit is broken. But weeks later, she was back to her old self, full of energy. She's been amazing. She's the toughest little girl, I know. Um, I thought I did well for my therapy treatment and uh, diagnosis, but um, she did so much better. Through two battles with cancer and a pandemic, the Leroy's have become closer than ever. But Alex and Zoe's shared bedroom is beginning to limit their inspiration and their independence. So I would love to give these two special siblings each a room of their own. However, despite Ben and Eva's best efforts, they have not been able to convince Zoe to move up into the attic. She's a little scared. Let's see if I have better luck. The attic is Zoe's room. Uh, it's not a room that is refined for her. We really didn't, you know, with everything that happened, I think we had 400, you know, doctor's visits in the last five years, and which is emotionally, financially, and physically draining. So we haven't gotten to the point of like really doing that room. So it's not really a child's room. <gasps> it's sort of a, not creepy, but it's... And she says it's a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If George to the rescue could come in and give Alex and Zoe their own space, it would be a huge thing for them. It would mean the world to them. They had a really hard year, so I think, I think they would love it. We would love it. Yeah, we would love it. <laughs>
or something you can learn from Zoe is no challenge is too great. Sometimes, you know, things happen in life. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. You just have to like, you know, take one step and another step, be positive. And fight. And fight, yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Eva, Alex, yeah. Zoe. Oh, I've seen your video, your <laughs> smile, it, it radiates, it's the same. I know that, uh, you know, life's throwing you guys a couple curveballs and uh, you guys have, have persevered, but uh, your house could use a little love and that's kind of where I come in, Yay. if that's all right with you. It was awesome to meet George. This is a huge relief for us. We're really excited. We're really, really excited. I can't wait to see the kids' reaction. Yeah. And our reaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are here. Hey, George, how are you? Hugs would come, but we'll just go with bumps for now. Good to see you. Nick. Now that we've surprised the Leroy's, it's time to get to business. So I'm bringing in my good friend, Campbell Minister, to do the design. And for our general contractor, we're using Mike McHugh. I'm super excited to be able to help this family on this rescue. This project is near and dear to my heart. I have a seven-year-old daughter, um, just like Zoe, and I just knew when I heard it that this was the rescue for me to be involved in. So this is Alex and Zoe's room, yes. but we are, we are changing that. We're turning this into just Alex's room. So I cut to the job today with Campbell and George, and we're gonna take a look at Alex's room. We're gonna take a look at Zoe's room. They're living together in the same room. We're gonna get them their own cool spaces. Yeah, we wanna personalize it, make it his space, make him feel at home. We're gonna change the wall color. He loves Manchester United. Huge fan. So Soccer is like his jam. That's yeah. all he, he wants to do. So that's, that's the theme. So basically from this doorway up, we just want to make this, you know, Zoe's domain. Zoe has a lot on her plate. I mean, she's seven years old, she's battling cancer, and she's just trying to be a regular kid. And her bedroom, it's a little scary. It's one of those where you just gotta rip it all out and start from scratch. Really, just first thing I see having you here is great, Nick, because I'd love the 86, the track lighting, right? I mean, they, I don't know what decade that takes me back to. This is like somebody's basement. Up in, the up in the attic. For Zoe, we, just, we need to make this space cozy. It needs to be a space where she wants to be. Right now, she's kind of fearful of going upstairs on her own. We want to make it a, a warm, inviting space. Give her a space to read, give her a space to draw, and things that are personal to her. Zoe's room's challenge is, is we, we really need to rip down all that old paneling and see what we got behind there. I'm assuming that there's some old insulation. Just make it a little more open and airy. Yes! Oh. Watching George do demo was like a Tasmanian devil. We knew what we were in for when we seen him start swinging the hammer. Woo! Yeah, I love watching George do demo. Yeah! It's like getting his all his angst. We both have little kids. Get it all out. Rip down the walls. It's my favorite part of the day. I just feel like with each panel I remove, it's like a secret door, secret passageway. It's all about finding more space. You don't have to knock out a wall, but there's a lot of dead spaces in houses. Zoe is an avid reader. I would love to see if we can create some sort of little reading nook. Little, put a little carpet down, a little uh, fill it with pillows. That's my vision. There's definitely some room in these eaves that we can work with. Wow, they did, they did wonders for you at Hair and Makeup today. You're basically, just practically glowing. George is number one in our club. No matter how bad things seem, you always help somebody less fortunate. This is it, man, right here, time and time again. I'll, I don't even give this guy any notice. Lou always shows up with a dumpster for George to rescue. Thank you, Lou. Oh, that George? The nice thing about getting in here and stripping everything down to the studs is you can really get a good look at how the house is built and where there might be some trouble spots or weak spots. And uh, this roof is, it's seen better days. Uh, not only do the Leroy's need new windows and new insulation, I think we might have to, to throw on a new roof as well. There are certain parts of the house that when you're working in them, you can really see what the house is all about, how it's built, what's going on. And basements and attics are the telltale. And this, this attic is showing me what's going on with the roof. Michael! Hey, George, good to see you again, bud. Thanks for Thank coming to meet me. It's I, my hey, pleasure. Glen Ridge, I knew this is your territory. It's not in terrible shape. There is some uh, signs of aging. So the Leroy roof 
uh, is approximately 16 years old with a life expectancy of 20 years. But why wait until you have water coming in from a storm and then make it an emergency? So let's do it and get ahead of it so that this family is safe and has no worries about storms. What I would suggest we do, George, yep. just so that we avoid any future issues, we can lay another brand new roof on top of the existing one. Puts new roof on the garage and, a, and, and on the bay window in the front entrance. You're so calm. We'll you're, so, put, you're so calm, cool, and collected. How long is it going to take? George, we're busy, but for you, I'll move things around and we'll get it done for you right away. Talk about rallying the troops. They're going to replace everything in one day. Lou was here from Viola Brothers. They just dropped off the windows. He did all the. Uh, How the are you, George? For the nice to meet you. How are you? Doors. So we were very lucky to get Viola Brothers to donate new windows for both of the rooms that we're renovating. The seals are broken. There's there's leakage. They but lose they, their seal. They lose their seals. In cold weather, you'll see these. They actually look like a shower door. They, they right. run with water. Cool. On to the next one. See you guys. <laughs> so when we first walked into the attic space and all the paneling was there and the ceilings were low, we had this vision to raise the ceiling as much as possible and then put some really fun colors that Zoe loved. So we took purple and we put that all over the room. Nuno from Nuno Painting helped make that possible. I don't want any paint getting on our floors, so I'm going to be using the 3M Scotch Blue Ultra Sharp paint lines all the way across the bottom so that we can paint the walls, the ceiling, everything this purple and none of it gets on the floor. This is a sight I like to see, the ABC upholstery and delivery uh, truck arriving on the job site. Go. How's it going, guys? Okay. Campbell was telling me that you guys literally had a truckload of stuff for us. Yeah, we got beds, we had desks, chairs, outdoor furniture. At the beginning of the project, we realized that we needed some zhuzhing outdoors. We need some pillows, catch, Boom. some throws, some carpets. Oh, I love the blue. Right? Front gate was generous enough to donate everything that we needed. So love we have it. a little seating area, a little, little hangout area. area. Exactly. We're going to put our trellis under the, underneath those windows. Right, with all the lavender that we got from um, Orange Garden. And, and the citronella. Busy, busy bees. Okay. Brett Campbell taking care of Alex's room. Yeah. Nice Boom. and tight against the back. Yep. Okay. Pop, pop of red. Pop of red. I like there you it. Go. All right. So we have the red because we have all the Manchester United stuff coming. Which have you is... seen this? No, I'm okay. ready. Okay. All right. Let me uh... get it. Manchester United is a huge part of Alex's world. So we just went for it, right? We put the flag up, the ball, the jersey. He's got all this gear. Kim, Billy, Luann, and Vinny from Window Works. They got all the fabrics donated and they turned around these beautiful Roman shades. What look, look at this. What did you get framed? Framed. Jersey. <gasps> no framed, way! Framed and signed by Pogba on Manchester United to Alex. Thanks for being the best brother in the world. I got in touch with Manchester United. They said they would send a care package. Little did I know that they were going all out for Alex. We this have... is unbelievable. This is. He's going to lose his mind. I know he's gonna, he's gonna lose his mind. We framed it at Four Flavors Art. This is gonna be so meaningful to Alex, and I just appreciate that Manchester United was able to realize that. It is Zoe's birthday, so before we bring her home and show her all the crazy things we've been doing at the house, we have come to Six Flags Great Adventure, so she can ride the rides, eat some food, see some animals, pucker up, buttercup, really just have a day of it. Oh, you're a good girl. Today we have come to Six Flags Great Adventure for a very special check-in with the Leroy family. I got fast passes for all of us. All right. Ah! This is the newest feature here at Six Flags. The Jersey Devil opened yesterday, so we are literally pioneers here. We are so excited to get on this coaster with George. It looks awesome. The scariest part is going to the top. loop de dupes big drops, twists, turns, the unexpected. We made it! We survived. Woo! You can feel it. My stomach is still not right. How was it? It was fast. Yeah, it was fast. If you survived the New Jersey Devil, you can do them all. I was crying a little bit. I don't know if it was tears of joy, fear, just the wind, but whatever it was. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. All right, fine. Shall we?
people here at Six Flags are opening all their doors for us, including the gates to their animal sanctuary, where we're going to get up close and personal with a sea lion named Anoki. Say hello. Why don't you wave? Hi, Anoki. Hi. Hi. You want to dance? Okay, let's dance. Let's dance. Sorry. Sorry. Dance. Can't give her five. Five. <laughs> she was giving us kisses. Okay. <laughs> Pucker up, Buttercup. Thanks for the kiss. By the way, my name's George, in case you wanted to get to know me. Oh, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Happy, happy birthday, Zoe. I'm gonna head back because I wanna make sure it is perfect. We're so excited to go get back to the house and see what George did for us. We're really, really curious. Yeah, we can't wait. Man, this place Hooray. is spectacular. I love it. The challenge is, how do we get Zoe to love her room upstairs in the attic? We had plug-in sconces on the wall, low-profile nightstands, and then we also wanted a desk for her so she can do homework. Everything is just going to be cozy for her so she feels safe and secure in her attic bedroom. We have a, a plethora of stuff. We have pillows galore. I know some of them obviously stay on the bed. Right. Some are going in our little nook. We have a reading which nook. Which is, how awesome is that nook, That was your right? idea. So the reading nook was really George's idea. You know, we wanted to give her a an extra little space. He envisioned that and we just executed it. We called in Exceptional Flooring Concepts who had this beautiful herringbone runner, soft neutral grays so that it's this cozy, fun kid space. What's going on with those hooks right there? Oh, I can't wait to show you this. So this is, Zoe loves art. Right. So we have a roll of paper that's gonna hang here, and then she is just reusable. So, so all she needs to replace. Like this. Exactly. Zoe's room may be in the attic, but we made it so inviting with this soft new carpet on the stairs, the purple on the walls, the stars, the gallery wall, the pictures. I think this whole room will inspire her. It'll Good. calm her, it'll enthuse her. And then take that off her parents' plate. 100%. Check. You can see the mother and the designer coming together in Campbell to do this for Zoe. So much love went into this, and uh, I know that they're gonna love it. Take it in. Whoa! Oh That's so cool. This is amazing. Hey! Hi. Wow. Hi, guys. How are you? How are you? Hi, how are you? Changes to the roof. You guys, see, you guys are quick. You guys don't miss anything. Just a little, just a couple changes. I'm that already. Amazing. You're already. I'm right. already excited. Rescue's done. We can go back. You guys want to get the coffee? No. You know, we rounded the corner, and I immediately noticed a new roof. Uh, which was crazy. As a homeowner, this is really exciting. Zoe, you ready to see what we did? Yeah. Mom, Dad. I'm, I'm super so excited. Ready. Let's do it. All right. All right. Take it in. Whoa. Oh my gosh! This is that amazing! Is... Awesome! Oh my God. Wow! That's so cool! Oh my goodness. That's so cool! Wow! Oh my goodness! <laughs> is that a Pogba? Uh, yeah, why don't you read the autograph? To Alex, thanks for being the best brother in the world. Oh man. Yeah. When Alex first walked into the room, I think the first thing he noticed was the Pogba jersey. It was just amazing because, I mean, Man U is his favorite team. Pogba is like one of his favorite players of all time. I'm speechless. The United shirt, the desk, the bed. Six years ago now, I went through breast cancer. He was old enough to realize that, and then he saw me go through that, and then he saw Zoe go through it again. He's been such a good sport so through everything, and to have something like this for him, it's just amazing. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. 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 This is amazing. Oh my goodness, look, Zoe. Oh, Zoe, look at this. It's like a nook. This is so cool. That's my same reaction every time I come up here, Zoe. So walking into Zoe's room, the space feels so much brighter. The staircase with the purple walls and the stars. It just looks like you're like walking into Zoe's, yeah, Zoe's floor. Domain. Zoe's uh, penthouse. Yeah. I love the reading nook and bed. A big bed. It's comfortable. Girl like. Zoe, if you ever want to switch, I'll take this room. <laughs> I almost said, I was like, this is almost like a master suite up here. I know. 
This is awesome. No, she said no. <laughs> this is your room. You now this have your room. your room. Zoe, I could tell she's also a little bit shy, but I think she's really, really happy, and I think it's more than she ever expected to have. New window, I see. Oh yeah, new, oh yeah, new windows. Uh, we uh, we we put in five new windows. George gave them like you know more than just two rooms. He gave us as like homeowners like a, a roof, and then there's the whole backyard. Oh my God. This is awesome. <gasps> this is so nice. You know, there's been so many improvements that really take a lot off our list. So to like have all that time now to not have to do that and to spend was always like a huge gift that we're really appreciative of. So this whole George to the rescue experience has been surreal. I still like I'm pinching myself a little bit. I still feel not deserving of it, but it's been hard. Um, it's been challenging last year and um, to have this is just so amazing. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, from the bottom of our hearts. I don't, I don't have words to really say how I feel. Like I'm really, 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 really grateful for everything. It's just amazing. Thank you so much for watching that video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video.